Now, we get some evidence here and see that the Lord is with Joseph because everything that takes place next is a blessing. Everything in this Egyptian guy's household is blessed. In fact, this guy can see that Joseph, there's something special about him and that everything he touches turns to gold and everything he does is done the right way. And so he entrusts him so much that he gives him the entire household to take care of. Remember, this guy is a slave. And yet over and over and over, he can see that he is blessed. Each one of us, if we want to know our purpose, we want to know what God's will is in our life, we have to make the decision to do the things the Lord wants us to do, which means doing it right before His eyes and asking ourselves questions. Would Jesus do this? Is this the right thing in God's eyes? Am I missing the mark in any way? Because there's something so special about Joseph that this guy by the name of Potiphar, who doesn't believe in God, doesn't believe in his God, and has multiple gods, knows that the Lord is with this guy. How is that? Well, his life is lived in such a way that there's something special about him. Would you choose today to live in such a way that people can see there's something special about you? Would you live in such a way today that when people look at you, they're like, there's gotta be something different and I wanna know more what that is because we as believers, it's our job to get people so close to the edge that they just have to know what it is that is different and be ready to share what that is with your faith.